me read to you the scripture in the book of Acts, chapter 1, verse 8. The key verse of this APYC. But ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you. And ye shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem, in all Judea, in Samaria, and unto the uttermost part of the earth. Let's lift our hands. Heavenly Father, we hear your word. We read your word. Anoint your servant, my mind, my heart, and my lips. Let me speak your words to this young generation, O God. As we continue to love you and serve you until you return, we are ready to receive the power. May our lives be transformed. We will carry the burden to preach your word, O God. And let the fire of the Holy Ghost in this first session until the last session of this conference be poured out in our midst right now. We receive the anointing in Jesus' name. Everybody shout, Amen! Amen. Clap your hands to Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. Before I will let you seated, I would like to give honor to my beloved wife, Sister Roxanne Sara Pestaño. I love her and thank you so much for supporting me in this ministry. Alright? Para hindi siya makunan ng number, baka may mag last night sa kanya. Alright? Look to your seatmate and tell them the only power you need. Yeah. Shake the hands of your brother, of your sister. Hug them. Ang lalaki, hug to hug. Babae, wag niyong ihag ang lalaki. Okay. Hug your sisters. Hug your brothers. Thank you, sir. Hallelujah. Wow. I am blessed to stand in front of the wonderful people of God. After four years, this is it. The APYC, APYC the Asia Pacific Youth Conference. Hallelujah. It's just only a thought. It's just only a plan. But right now, it finally happened. Hallelujah. And I firmly believe God has prepared extraordinary outpouring of Holy Spirit to all of us. Regardless of your nation, regardless of your race, or what color of our skin ours, hallelujah, we will receive the outpouring of the Holy Ghost. <laughs> hallelujah. Let me say it to us. For four years, waiting and planning, God is faithful. Hallelujah. He never fades from generation to generation. He has never leave us nor forsake us. Hallelujah. During the time of pandemic, during the time of struggles, when, when I was young, hallelujah, just like you attending youth camp and conference, God has proven He got the power. God showed to us He is the ruler of the earth. Hallelujah. Niyanig tayo ng pandemic, but God shows He is greater than pandemic. God shows He is greater than any trials. And let me share you the report. Just before the pandemic, our numbers is only 10,000 as a whole nation in youth camps attendance. But just after pandemic, our number tripled. We reported to the executive board, we have already 30,000 young people. Hallelujah. Even the gates of hell cannot prevail on the kingdom of God. Come on, young people. The God that we serve is greater. He got the power.
God is not just a celebrity. If you have just come here to see the handsome speakers that we have, God is not like them. If you are disappointed, if Reverend Matthew Tuttle is not here, I'm sorry. God is not like Matthew Tuttle. He is not a dignitary, mga kapatid. Our God is the anointed one. He is holy. He is omnipresent. He is omniscient. He is omnipotent. He is everlasting. He is the King of kings, the Lord of lords, the bright and morning star. He is the lover of our soul. Kaya mga kapatid, don't come here kung ganun ang prinsipyo natin, walang revival mangyayari sa'yo. There's no revival will happen to you. I thank these wonderful speakers we have. But if you just hear, want to see them, there's no power on it. The power is in the Word. The power is in our God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. So right now, church, let's be focused to Jesus. He is full of power, full of might, full of glory, full of grace. God deserves our praises. Sige po, let me hear you. Let me hear you. If you believe God deserves the praises, can we give Him the praise? Kung kayo'y naniniwala, nahikit ang ating Diyos, can we give a shout? Can we give a praise? Come on! Come on! Ipakita mo na hindi ka lang naparito dahil sa mga speaker natin. Naparito ka because we want revival. We want the Spirit. Come on. Hallelujah. In the name, in the name of Jesus. The only power that can make difference in someone's life is the power of the Holy Ghost. In the book of Acts, the Holy Ghost turned the world upside down. And the promise is not only for the apostles. The promise is not only for Peter. He said the promise is for the generation to generation to generation. If in the book of Acts, the world was upside down in Asia and Pacific with the power of the Holy Ghost, we will turn it upside down. Come on, we have our regional director here. We are from Australia. Let's turn the world upside down. With the Holy Ghost. Come on, come on, come on. If you believe it, if you empower it, can you stand? Rejoice. Sige po. Come on, let me hear you. We will turn the world upside down. Not by our might, not by our strength, but by the Holy Ghost. Singer, it's the power of the Holy Spirit. India, you will turn the whole nation with the power of the Holy Ghost. Come on, come on, come on. The Holy Ghost is not the third person in the Godhead. The Holy Ghost is Jesus. Come on! Jesus is the Holy Ghost! Hallelujah! In the name of Jesus! Thank you. Romans 6, 6 says, Romans 6, 6 says, Knowing this, that our old man 
is crucified with Him. That the body of sin might be destroyed, that henceforth we should not serve sin. Every one of us, we are born in this world with a rebellious nature. None of us are born in a Pentecostal doctrine. We cannot say, my father is a pastor. My mother is serving the Lord. I am an inborn apostolic Pentecostal. We are not born to be Pentecostal. We are born with this rebellious nature within us. What is this rebellious nature? The Bible says it's the old man. The old man within us. The simple nature which is the root of our problems. That even you are filled with the Holy Spirit when the old man says you have to do something, we failed. It's the root of our problems. This old man, this simple nature is wicked, dark, and evil. This old nature, they cannot please us, God. This old nature doesn't desire God. This old nature doesn't know how to glorify the Lord. That's the reason why we give ourselves on this kind of fellowship. The old man will say, it's just a waste of money. It's just a waste of time. Hallelujah. The old man will say, Hallelujah, you will just get tired. Mapapagod ka lang. Kapuyun raka. Maluya raka. That's the old nature will tell you. Hallelujah. It doesn't please God. Therefore, in order that we will please the Lord, we with the apostolic move of the Holy Ghost. We will kill the old man nature. I know some of you are tired. Puyat kayo. Ang aga nyo kanina sa pila, mga kapatid. Hallelujah. But can we have a proper concept right now in serving our God? Hallelujah. Wag mo sayangin ang pagpunta mo dito. Hallelujah. Wag mo sayangin ang 800, ang 1,000, or 2,500 mo. Everything that we can do, let's have an apostolic move of the Holy Ghost. Hindi kanya ng apostolic. Hindi kanya ng apostolic. We need the apostolic bomb. Come on, hear me, ya people. We need the apostolic. Ang mga apostolic hindi matipid. Hindi tamad to malon. Hindi tamad to mayo. Hindi tamad po malakpak. Basta kay Jesus. Come on. Don't listen to your old nature. We need the power. Come on, come on, come on. In the name of Jesus. I claim in this APYC in the name and authority of the name of Jesus. We will kill the old nature and let the Spirit of God grow into our hearts. Let the Holy Ghost fill our minds, our hearts, our soul. The old, wicked, dark, evil nature. Let God turn it into a beautiful paradise. Let the Lord bring light in your life. Come on, shout to Jesus. It is the power that you need. Let me say it with all honesty. We are all sinners. We are not perfect. We cannot say it always. 
We're filled the Holy Ghost. Yes, we're sinner. We fail, mga kapatid. Hallelujah. But let me say this. Hallelujah. Any man, he is in Christ. All things. All things. God doesn't care what is your past. God doesn't care what you have done before. God doesn't care what is your failure and mistake. All things are passed away. When you are here right now, you will be born. You have a new nature within you. All things are passed away. It's forgiven. It's forgotten. That's why we dance. That's why we run. That's why we shout. Because we celebrate the power. Come on, come on, come on. Celebrate the power. Come on, come on. God doesn't care for your failures. Only the devil wants to destroy you. Only the devil bring that thought in your life. But here we are right now. Hallelujah. The thoughts of the devil cannot defeat the grace of God. I am a new creature. I am washed by the blood. Come on, let me hear you. To those who don't have handcuffs or yung walang mga posas, can you raise your hands? Can you move your hands to the side? You can move freely. Why? There's no bandage. Nakakatalon pa ba kayo? Because you are free. Don't allow your past to hinder you in worship. Come on, come on. Let me remind you, church. We are not here to entertain. We are here to worship. We are not here to perform. We are to praise. We are not here to play. We are here for revival. Yes! Woo! Sige, enjoy mo yung freedom mo! Enjoy! You want to sit if you want to sit, but let me say this. A gift is nothing if no one will receive it. Even though how much expensive is the gift, sir, if no one will receive it, it's nothing. Even I will show you a very big gift here. If no one will receive, it's useless. That's the power we need. It's already here. And Acts says, you shall receive. God doesn't give it. You have to receive it. We have to go to it. We have to get the gift. We have to unwrap the gift. And that's the way we will get the gift. Why I'm telling this? You cannot receive the power if you will not worship God. You cannot receive the power if you will not open your mouth and give praises to Him. You have to receive the gift. That's it. I can feel this presence. Receive the gift. Unwrap the gift. We don't want the spirit to be useless. 
We want the Spirit to be in us. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit is a gift, a grace, a blessing. Hallelujah. It's the fountain of living water. Hallelujah. If the natural water purifies us, quench our thirst, strengthen us, the same thing with the Spirit. When the Spirit is here, it will quench our thirsty souls. Hallelujah. It will give us a joy that we cannot understand. Young people, our life can be difficult. We will not make it by our strength, but by the power of the Holy Ghost. Australia, we will make it. India, we will make it. Philippines, we will make it. Singapore, we will make it. Receive the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. When you receive the Spirit, we receive the power. When you receive the Spirit, young people, it's just not an ordinary power. It's a divine power. It's the same power that raised Jesus from the dead. It's the power that you receive. It's the power that will transform each everyone's lives. It's the power to heal the sick, to cast out demons, to speak in tongues, to perform miracles, to love the unlovable, to forgive the unforgivable, to bear the unbearable because of the power of the Holy Ghost. Come on, apostolic. We have the power to overcome sin. It's the power to live a victorious life. Come on, come on, come on. Receive the power in your life. Hallelujah, as our music will get ready. Hallelujah. Take note. The Holy Spirit that we will receive is not only for us. The Holy Spirit is not only for us. God gave us the Spirit to fulfill the mission. He said, we receive power after that, the Holy Ghost is upon you. And here's the mission. And ye shall be my witnesses. In Judea, Samaria, Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria. And take note, uttermost part of the earth. We are not from Jerusalem. We are not from Judea. We are not from Samaria. But we belong to the uttermost part of the earth. Come on, come on, young people. The power of the Holy Spirit is the only spirit that we need. It's a gift, grace, and blessing. Hallelujah. As we ready our hearts and lift our voices, the Holy Spirit is not a one time event, the Holy Spirit is a continuous experience. After this APYC, we have to continue to be filled with the Spirit. It doesn't mean that only here we will be filled with the Holy Spirit. When we go back to our places, there's no more Holy Spirit. It's not only a one-time event. It is a continuous lifestyle. We have to be continue fulfilling the mission. Young people, do not be afraid to be a pastor. Do not be afraid to be an evangelist. Do not be afraid to be a missionary. Do not be afraid to be used by God for His kingdom. 
The only power you need is the Holy Ghost. We will not accomplish the mission without the power of the Spirit. That's why we need to be filled by the Holy Spirit every day, every moment in our life, young people. We need to walk in the Spirit, pray in the Spirit, worship in the Spirit. If you want to run, you must run in the Spirit. If you want to preach, preach in the Spirit. Hallelujah. Because the power of the Spirit is the reality. It's the experience. It's the lifestyle. Come on, the Holy Spirit is for everybody. Hallelujah. The power of the Spirit. Hallelujah. Will give us strength. Will help us. As you lift your hands to Jesus right now, my prayer in this conference, our Bible school will be filled with young people willing to serve God. You will say to God right now, God, the only power we need is you. You don't need to memorize all those Bibles or any theologies that you have. The reality is the Spirit. When you have the Spirit, the Spirit will guide you. In my prayer to you right now, don't be afraid to fulfill the mission. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit is not just us only. Think of your brother. Think of your sister who are not serving God. To your offers mate. To your boss in your work. To your neighbor who doesn't know Jesus. We have to fulfill the mission. You have the power within you. The Holy Spirit is a promise, a guarantee, a certainty. Jesus promised it. Receive the Spirit. Come on, lift your voice. Shout. Shout to God.